Hi. What we're going to talk about now is just a basic introduction to the various tools in Sketchbook Pro. Now Sketchbook Pro is one of the very simple programs that you can use for concept level uh, uh, design drawing. It's very useful in that regard. So what we'll just have a look at now is just the various tools that we can bring up. You'll see in this lower left hand corner which we can switch on and off this is the Lagoon toolbar. This allows you to access all of the, the main attributes of the program. What we need to do is switch on some of the other toolbars so we'll go up to the window section on the taskbar. We'll bring up the layer editor. Now just like in Photoshop we can draw on a variety of layers in order to create separate drawing surfaces that we can layer over the top of one another. And we use those using a set of very basic drawing tools. But even though they're very basic, they do all the jobs that we need for the majority of design sketching. So this one is the pencil. And you see we can draw a whole variety of lines. You can see by bringing up the brush properties menu we can vary the thickness of those lines. And in this particular case, let's see we're just going to a lot softer pencil. Okay, now we'll try the pen, just by way of variety. We'll Switch that layer off. Okay, now we've got the pen tool. So you can see we can change the thickness of the pen and its opacity. We'll put it at 100% and we'll make it quite a thick line. Okay, we can also use an eraser. Again, the attributes of the brush property can be changed. Okay. The other way we can do that is, see this little ink, inkwell? We can change the size of a given tool quickly through that inkwell. So I can just delete some elements there. Okay, nice and simple. Or we can do it free. Okay. Now if we want to switch colours, we bring up the colour editor. Okay. We can choose straight off the menu there. Trying to use your skills that you learn in first semester. Save those selections as you see fit. Marker tool. We can change its slant and its size. And in the layers menu, you can adjust its opacity. So you've got a variety of tools that you need to become familiar with in this program. Simple though it is, it's a very powerful program for quick sketching. First, you've got your basic toolbar here with a variety of settings. We've only looked at these ones up this end at this stage, the layers, the brush settings and the colour selector. The variety of brushes that you've got to work with, I strongly suggest the pencil, the pen and the mark are the ones that you need to become most familiar with at this stage. Then the brush properties menu, which is this centre little pattern here, to click it on and off. And this little lagoon is the other thing to remember. This allows you to adjust the size of whatever brush you're working with. Okay, that's our start. Thanks kindly. Bye.